Good morning, everybody. Um, it's, I'll tell you, it's just storming to beat the band in Round Knob Canyon. The internet is off. The television is off. Um, so I thought, uh, I have a book that's going to go out off to a friend just as soon as I can, uh, the rain stops and I can get to the post office. So I thought I would just do a little video on it today. Kind of introduce you to my style, those of you that don't already know it. Um, I do have a very different style. I started out doing these two decades ago uh, before I even knew what junk journals were. I just called them junk books and um, I, I loved them back then but I kind of did a shabby chic style and then uh, I got on the internet about three or four years ago and found Jenny Miller and that took me in a whole new um, on a whole new path and uh, then I went from that to very, very grungy. I'm 74 years old, so uh, everything to me, uh, you know, I just lean towards things that are uh, back in time. Um, I grew up in the 40s and 50s, and it was just such a, a simpler time, and uh, oh my goodness. So I really lean towards anything that's very old-fashioned. You walk in our door, and it looks like you're walking into the door of a, a grandma and grandpa, 100 years old. Our gardens are the same way. <laughs> Um, and we are almost that, <laughs> but we try not to act it. We work hard. Uh, we're almost hermits, but we work a lot around here, and uh, we stay busy. But I do love to do these books when I can work them in. And I call these grandma books. I have a group now, and it's Junk Journals from Grandma with Love. So if you're not a member of that book, I invite you, uh, that group, I invite you to come on over and be a member of that group. Um, it's a very fun, fun group. Um, uh, we don't have a lot of strict rules like most of the groups have. Um, the main thing is just be nice, be friendly, uh, support and love and lift up each other. Uh, it's a, Everything has to be family friendly, Video uh, videos, yes, videos, uh, images, wording of your uh, comments or anything like that. But that's pretty much it. We have a question of the day Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And... Um, it isn't even necessarily a crafty uh, question. In fact, it's rarely ever a, cra a crafty question. We just do fun questions like, what did you have for supper t uh, last night? Or what are you going to have tonight? Or um, if you could go back and name yourself, knowing today uh, the kind of person you are, what uh, uh, your life has evolved into, uh, what would you rename yourself? That was a fun question. And some of the answers, oh my goodness, they were just out of this world. So uh, we just do a lot of fun, fun things uh, there. Um, a couple of days ago, we had the question, um, if you could know the answer to one unsolved mystery in the world today, what, what uh, unsolved mystery would you want to know the answer to? And um, there were just some amazing answers on there. I mean, that's it. We're, like, uh, we're coming up on 1,400 members, and that's not a lot, but we have a lot of really active members, and uh, we're a really close-knit group, so I invite you to come over there. Let's get on into the book. These are, um, this is in the Little Bit series, and uh, I'm just going to open it up and get right in here. These are about, they start out about four and a half by five and a half. Wait a minute before I even start that, let me show you something. I get so many questions wanting to know how I get my papers to look as old as I do. So let me just show you really quick. Um, I start out with a paper. I would like to do tutorials, but I'm telling you, I just don't have the time. I don't know how people do tutorials or have the time to do all this. Uh, you know, for one thing, I'm not a business. I'm a homemaker, wife, mom, homemaker. Our kids are grown and have their own kids, but um, that is where my priority lies. And uh, all of that comes first. And if I can find time, I work in a book. <laughs> and sometimes that's uh, hard to find. And uh, you know, I can't put them out nearly as often as I'd like to, but everybody wants to know how I make my books look so authentically old. You know, they don't look like a book like this, that, that you just darkened the paper just a little bit. They look authentically old. So this is what I do. I start out with a white piece of paper. I dunk it in coffee and bake it in the oven. And then after that, I take it out and I tear the sizes that I need and I bake it again and that gives it the darker edges. Sometimes I will sprinkle uh, bits of coffee on there to make darker spots. I also use the Tim Holtz um, walnut ink on the edges of a lot of my papers. I love that ink. Um, it doesn't last as long as I'd like for it to but I do like the look it gives. So that's how I do it. I start with a white piece of paper, just copy paper mostly is what I use. 
if all you do is dunk the paper in coffee and bake it in the oven or tea and bake it in the oven this is what you're going to get right here it's a little bit dark but it does not look aged that much a little bit maybe but not that much this is what you're going to get when you go the extra mile and you will always find me along that extra mile because you know my name goes on everything I do and um, I, I, I want it to be uh, I, I'm, I'm not interested in turning out quantity I want to turn out quality and that's very important to me so that's how I do it I just uh, you know I work at the pages uh, at for instance, this book, I have 27 hours in this book and a little bit more than that because if I just had 15 minutes here and there while I had a little bit of time to do something, I would uh, stop and work on a page or a, a, a something that's going in there, a little pocket or whatever. So uh, 27 hours in this book, you know, uh, I just don't run through things. I get them to look like I want them to look and, and uh, that's important to me. So these are the little bits and... Um, Let's just take a peek inside. Uh, but they all started out just with a, a, a small piece of paper like this. It started white. And so it all, it started just like that. Um, and I just worked and worked and worked to age. Every little thing that goes in the book gets aged um, individually. And I take time to make it look right. So inside here is a little pocket. And I do a lot of these little pencils. I cut the pencils in half uh, in three pieces and uh, sand them down and stain them. And, uh, and then there's a little notebook in here where you can write your thoughts. And then there's some little um, uh, quotes and things in there. I'm not going to take everything out because I want to get done here. Um, we could even lose power the way that storm is sounding, so I want to get done. Um, and then there's just images all through it. I like to do quotes. Um, I like poems. I like everything to be old-fashioned. The stuff that goes in the book, I like for it to be very old-fashioned. This is a little book that I started out. Um, I like circles, and so I thought I wanted to do a few circles and put in the book, and so I ended up making the circles into a little book. And let's just take a peek inside, and then I'll wrap it back up in a little bit. It's just a little paper book, and this is copy paper that should have been worked and worked. This is a little pocket with a little... Uh, paper in there so you can write some secrets on a key uh, just uh, you know it's uh, it's just the way my mind works I don't know what to tell you <laughs> but uh, I love old old-fashioned stuff love rabbits have some rabbits here this is a quote that says living a uh, simple life raised down to earth keeper of lost arts seeker of the old things walker of dusty lanes and lover of every day so I love the old 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 quotes this is just another little book. Uh, the books, my books all have uh, uh, several little books in them, um, several envelopes in them, several tucks, uh, several pockets, and the pockets are always filled with uh, quotes and poems and things. So that's just another little book, and I'm not going to open that up. There's a rabbit. Uh, this is just, uh, you know, old-fashioned images, very old-fashioned images. So, so many people ask me where I get my quotes. Well, they're all over the Internet. You just have to be careful what you find and um, make sure that it's okay to use it uh, copyright wise but uh, if you just type in anything you're looking for there are free printable images on Pinterest and uh, for instance rabbits just type out type in rabbit images free printable rabbit images and you'll find just uh, uh, tons and tons and tons Paper doily. This says it's never a bad thing to celebrate simple things. So I kept that page very simple. More rabbits. Um, this just says, this is simply living. And this is an image so many people want in their books and they ask for it specifically. There's a poem and a kitchen scene too that a lot of people ask for. But this is just an old front porch. Um, it says remember in the olden days down here. Um, this is a, a sunbonnet um little girl. Um, I used to do the embroidery on those when I, oh, many decades ago. I loved doing that. Um, and I still have a lot of those uh, patterns and things. And so I wanted to put one of them in here on a clock. I love old clocks, but it has to have real numbers. I don't like Roman numeral numbers. <laughs> this is if I could put time in a bottle. This is just a glassine bag with some little uh, paper in there. This is a little pocket with just all kinds of uh, poems and quotes and things in there, and I'm not going to open it up. It says, create the life you can't wait to wake up to. 
And this is just a rabbit. Love that rabbit. And this is just a simple page. Another rabbit, some flowers. Uh, just a little poem. Blue, there is great power silently working all things for good. Behave yourself and never mind the rest. And this is just another pocket with little quotes and stories and things in it. Um... Uh, the hurrier I go, the behinder I get. Boy, is that me. And then a uh, chicken. Uh, just uh, old-fashioned. Everything is old-fashioned. I don't like real people in my books. I never put a real person in my book. I do like the little girl images, and I use the, the sunbonnet girls and um, some of these old-timey images that are really drawings and and uh, that so and this is just a bag I got done and I thought I wanted to do a little bit extra for this book and there were some longer readings that are really popular in my books and I wanted to do some of those with the book but I had the book so full it just wasn't going to happen so I made just a small bag <coughs> out of those advertising bags that we see um, and I get mine on Amazon you can get them on Etsy and all over the place but um, so I just made a small bag cut it down and folded it and I've got some of my um, Sweet Annie from my garden. And then I think there are eight longer readings in here. Um, and it's dirt roads. I can't think what all I did put in there. <clears throat> but some of the most popular readings are in here. And this is just a friendship angel. I make these two out of paper. And there's a video uh, on my YouTube channel uh, telling how to make those. Uh, they're very simple. Um, gosh, I've given those away for years. Always uh, uh, at... Um, uh, Mother's Day, I would usually give the moms one in their bags, so and they have a magnet on the back to put on your refrigerator. So I'm sure there are some moms and grandmas in Massac County that have a refrigerator full of uh, <laughs> angels, friendship angels. So that's it. Um, I just wanted to kind of introduce my style for those that haven't seen it yet. Um, uh, I invite you to come over and join my group and... Uh, Junk Journals from Grandma with Love. Uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel, I really would appreciate it if you subscribe. Uh, and click the little bell so you'll know when I do post another video. I have some more books in the works, so I'll have another one in just a few days or a week. Hopefully, if uh, the good Lord's willing. Um, so, um, tell your friends about us. Tell them about the YouTube channel and about the Grandma group. And uh, just come and be a part of everything we do. Everything we do is very wholesome, very down-to-earth very uh, warm and fuzzy um, we promote loving one another and warm and fuzzy <laughs> so and um, that's it i'm going to get off of here uh so far the power is held out sounds like the the this storm has moved out just a little bit but we have we have storms all day today it's going to be a bad day till about nine o'clock tonight so thank you for watching um hope you all have a super duper grand and groovy zippity doo da day um Oh, one thing I, I wanted to say about the books, if I haven't already, um, you know, uh, the style. Uh, I'm not into cutesy for me. I have bought some that were kind of cutesy, <laughs> but because I have a display in the kitchen of books, but most of them have an older look, but some of them are a little bit on the cutesy side. Nothing uh, aged like I do, but... Um, uh, but uh, I want my books to touch our hearts and souls and um, to inspire us and lift us up. And um, uh, if you have one of my books or you see one of my books somewhere, I want you to be able to put it down and breathe a, a deep sigh of relief and then think to yourself, oh, my goodness, what a wonderful journey back in time that was. <laughs> so <laughs> um, it is a different look. It is a very different look. It is a very dark and grungy and aged look. Um, I do some books called just grandma books and they are just full of advice from grandma and images from grandma's day and so many things. Uh, and they are a treasure. Uh, they really are a treasure, uh, you know, and uh, I get excited about my books. I mean, you know, I get one done and I think, can I really let that one go? But, <laughs> you know, I only have so much room. Um, so that's it. I just wanted to introduce my style and invite you to uh, join my channel. And uh, that's it. Hope you all have a super duper grand and groovy if you do like that. I hope you get a little kindness and spread a little kindness absolutely everywhere you go today. And um, a lot of us are going to have to make our own sunshine today. So I, I, that's what I'm going to try to do and I hope you do too. Thank you for watching and I absolutely love you all.